some way. Even though sometimes I talk to people, they think I got the temper. And I'm trying to temper them. But that's a word, it's an old English word to mean temper means to be processed. Right? Okay, it says, when it was in building, when it was in the process, was built of stone made ready. Come on, y'all. Don't get stuck with it. No, don't get stuck. Get milk and make these your homies. Stone made ready before it was brought here. In other words, before we can build anything, there has to be some stones, lively stones, built up for the habitation of His Spirit that must be built, hewed, shaped, molded, hands-on, before it is laid in the foundation. What speaks to me of a level of accountability to what the king has commanded? Now, you, you can forfeit everything and make it by the and say, this is just Steve talking to me. That's fine. Yeah, I'm just trying to tell you, this is what the Father, this is what our King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is saying to us. Right? Stone made ready before it was brought hither. Which tells me that there is a personal accountability that I don't need my pastor to tell me what I need to do before I get set in the foundation of the house. Oh, in other words, there is a level of maturity that is obvious. Because I get, I get mis, I get mis, mis uh, uh, what's the word I want to say? I can't wait to add something to put the divider. <laughs> I get blamed for a lot of felonious activity that I'm not a part of. Folks get to say, well, he, he don't want me to move forward. He don't want me to do this. He don't want me to do that. No, 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 no. I just need to let you know that by the Spirit, I want to know, before we put you in the foundation and you rend the foundation and destroy the foundation, and then I got to come back and apologize and do other manual labor, that if you would respond correctly, I would know where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Gary, what the fuck? What's wrong with him? <laughs> Why ain't that to be me? I won't understand it. I'm just following the blueprint, the pattern. And I'm fully persuaded. You know, 20 something years into this thing, I'm persuaded that this is what's right. <laughs> he said, brought hither, so that oh, this is good. So that there was neither hammer or an axe or any tool. No hard abrasive action. No sparks. Right? You can't lay a stone when there's sparks. Or where there is iron sharpening iron, where there is high levels of correction, I know it. I know it. It's, it's tight, but it's right. Because folks don't get it. They don't get it. This is a blueprint. This is a from Genesis to Revelation is the pattern. Got nothing to do with me. I'm just interpreting what I know the Father's giving me. Right? Should be heard in the house while it's in the building. So you can't incorporate into the foundation anything that represents abrasive, sparks, a hard-headedness, callousness, coldness, distance. Am I right? No friction when you build it. David could not build a house. Come on. I know y'all walking with me because some of y'all studying the scriptures. David was a man of war. Yeah. He shed blood. Yeah. Nathan, his best friend, said, go build a house for the Father. Mm -hmm. God rebuked Nathan and said, you're too close yeah. to him. Yeah, right. You care about him too much. Mm -hmm. Go and tell him what I said. He cannot build a house because he shed too much blood. Yeah. That's why I have to be careful. Guard my heart. Mm -hmm. Once I start shedding blood, I forfeit the right to build. But people 
Our leeches and sharks, they would love for me to get pissed off, ticked off, get heavy, use an iron, use an axe. That is not what I'm called to do. I don't like friction. I don't like, my wife tell you, I don't even like noise. I hate noise. I just, you know, if I, if it could be, I could be in the country. I, I don't like birds. <laughs> I mean, that beats the urban area. I can just hang out in the country, but I don't like all day long. <laughs> yeah, I got a problem. I know. Pray for me. But I just like it to be quiet. I just like peace. I like serenity. You know what I'm saying? I don't like uh, sheep. I mean, goats. You know, goat, goat mentality, I don't, we're just teaching on sheep, goats, and wolves. I ain't got time for wolves and goats, and I don't want all that, but I don't have like time for that. Now, let me just lead you, right? Let me fulfill Psalms 23. Yeah. Making you lie down in green pastures. Lead you by still waters. <laughs> the still water. I know I have to have a rod and a staff if do it to comfort you, but that's not my goal. I don't like it. I'd rather have a staff than a rod. Okay. <laughs> while it was in building. Tell your neighbor, while it was in building. While it was in building. Gotta understand it, folks. Simple math. I hear and I do. That's it. I hear and I do. What I don't hear or what I don't understand, I ask. So I don't want to be random. I don't want to be there. I just don't want to go through the motions. I need insight. That's why we have a group. For you to ask questions. I don't want to know about all, all what's wrong with you. I want, to, <laughs> I want to hear from what's in you that we're looking to have a witness. That's what it exists for. You know, some, I mean, I'm not a witch hunter. I'm a treasure hunter. We have a treasure in this earth vessel. And it has to be excavated. You understand? Now go to Mark 7. Uh, Mark 7. Uh, real funny, man. That, was, that, that wasn't even in my notes. I just felt like I needed to say it. Did your neighbor, uh-oh. Mark 7 and 6. 